Yep. It's been a long time since we've done this, but uh, I want to take you on a full tour of iconic motorbikes. For those of you that uh, are too far away and can't see what we got going on here, no. but we have so many new things to show you. We have so many special bikes that Abby and I are going to do it together. And it's uh, for something. <laughs> so time for so a beer. wrapping up the day. There you go. All right, let's take a walk. Riff, thank you for holding the camera. After you, good sir. As you first come in, you obviously see our container structure, which we just wrapped up recently. I'm going to show you a couple more updates on that as we get there soon. Most of these bikes here are uh, sold or waiting to go to the new home. This one in particular is really exciting because it's going to... Iconic East, our new moto resort. Adam picked this up from one of our clients and this is going as well as, I we're, are we fully decided on which bike's going for display yet? Show you upstairs. There you go. All right, so let's do a tour really quick of here. Let's poke in. Yeah. So a lot of these bikes are either on storage, waiting for the auction. Uh, some of the ones over on that side are waiting for service. We do have a little bit of a backlog on title work. So there's about probably 30 some 30 -ish, bikes yeah, yep. from our Japan office still waiting for clearance on that. But everything from that beautiful Bostrom Ducati at the end, all the way through the FCRs and MVs and 98R1. The last time, have we even shown people the, the lighting and everything inside here? Is this new since the last video? Probably. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of bikes here. Like Adam said, uh, either stuff that's being for service, for sale, all kinds of iconic motorbikes all over the place. We can head over there. Yeah, let's go over there. Go over, yeah, the, we'll go over there the next one, yeah. We've sold some of the collection of the leathers off. And uh, I think there's actually one on the auction site right now still. That is correct. An Andrea yeah. Iannone Suzuki suit. Iannone. See, who remembers all the names. We finally have yeah. these cleared out. So initially, when I was uh, talking about this before, these are basically through fairs. You pull the bike out, and then there's ramps that can get the bikes in and out of the structure every couple containers. So now you see it all laid out properly. Special mention to the Yamaha Supercart there. TZ250 powered. We're big two-stroke fans, so... Uh, we're starting iconic carts soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> KX500 going in the auction site pretty soon. Yeah. Bunch of these are service bikes, but uh, you know, you might not pay much attention to it because you're not used to seeing without fairings on them, but NR750 waiting for some finishing touches before the bodywork goes back on. We'll show you the bodywork upstairs. Behind that is another NR750. And that one uh, is pretty much done. It's in storage actually, just waiting for one part. Yeah. Right? OW01. We thought we had this ready for the auction site, but uh, ended up having another issue. The bike we'll get there given. Yeah, exactly. So you'll see that back on the lift pretty soon. We don't want to sell anything with any problems. But there is another OW1 on its way and a bunch of other special bikes that'll be here tonight. So what are that, 14? 14 bikes. or 15 bikes coming from a collection in Las Vegas. That's gonna be an exciting one for sure. It's all homologated bikes mostly, so you watch for that. Anyway. Ah, service oh, that's going on the auction site pretty quick, right? That RS is actually currently, that went okay. live today, this, uh, this morning. This and an RC30. Uh, yeah, this same owner as that KX500 that Adam pointed out earlier. Uh, but that's a, that's a cool story. The gentleman is selling that to help fund his son's racing, which uh, we're always excited about. We actually sponsor his son. That's right, uh, Solly. As well. Solly, yep. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I'll mention Solly again later. Another RZ500, uh, or actually RZV500, I should say, going to the auction site soon, as soon as we get that one sorted out. Steve is on a CBX as usual. Carburetors. <laughs> Had the whole exhaust tail off just to do the carbs. Gotta drop the motor. Yep, gotta love that. Yeah, over in Ollie's Bay, Ollie's out today, but another Yamaha 500. This is the R, as you would call it, RZ500, because you're Australian. We got one of those and another special Yamaha, a R7, the OW02, which as you can tell, we're currently going through uh, a bit of some wiring. <laughs> well, we're trying to basically put headlights on a race harness. Yes, so it's, it's, it's actually got the race kit on this bike, which is yep. pretty incredible. Yep. So more updates on that soon. Another Skull Bandit RG500 coming up on the auction before long. This is an RC30 for a customer that we're restoring. Doing a bunch of work on that one. Z1R. Over here in Yanni's lift, not to make this a shop walk, but I just want to highlight, we we're always working on all kinds of bikes. So over here, Ducati 916 SPS. Over here, Harley Flathead motor from back in the day. And so I think it's like a 1954 And that's Harley one of the Haggerty bikes. So Haggerty gave yes. us a bunch of bikes to service. And again, once again, thank you guys. That was awesome. That's another one right there. Good transition. Another Haggerty bike. Vincent Comet, 500 single. I, we, we just talked about this DB2 on a couple of videos today. It just came yeah. in for the auction site. Uh, this customer has been with us for a while now. Flat side carbs, 
really beautiful example, kind of like a camouflage, tricolore kind of yeah. thing going on. If you come over this way, Riff, and shoot it, the electrician finished the lighting today, so we had to move the lighting over to the middle. That is now done. The new staircase is here to get up and down. Uh, the premise here is we have another set of racks, just like you have against that back wall, coming on this side, and then we have a whole bunch of netting to protect it so nothing falls off. But the racks are starting to be built, and that will be more part storage beyond the parts room that we walked by when it first came in. So coming this way, we talked about a bit of a backlog of bikes that are due for the auction site, but waiting for title work. Uh, this whole group here is uh, actually all of these. Correct, yep. Are all waiting for titles, but they will be on the auction site. Uh, NC35, NC30, uh, MH900, ZXR, a bunch of different stuff. Back here, a couple of employee bikes mixed in, a few more bikes. This is on the auction site currently. Actually, this... Both are, yes. Both? Okay. Ducati 851 SP3 on the auction site right now. Japanese market, the first year, the 87 Honda RC30. The first year bikes were the ones uh, that they had to do a lottery for, and there's a great plaque on the side that says, for those who appreciate the finest motorsports has to offer. This so. is also on the auction site. Really good buddy of mine. Yeah. Yep. This will be... Uh, this, oh. We this have to, we will have to be on the auction this. site. Yeah, this will be on the auction site uh, the next next, next week. week? Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't sell, uh, I'll be calling the seller up because I would like to have this for Iconic East. I have to just show you real quick. So. The reason why this exists, we're, the owner originally was going to have a company called Enmoto make this kit out of it. This very cool golden age art deco type scooter. Unfortunately, Enmoto, the... the the war in Ukraine ended the possibility of that happening. So now he's, he's moving on, but it's just a cool customer project. We love supporting that kind of thing. So like I said, if it doesn't do well on the auction side, it doesn't hit reserve, we will likely do something for Iconic East. So yeah. you come visit us and you want to take something, an automatic out, there you go. Have a nice <laughs> range of bikes to take out. That is being restored by us. We had the frame painted already. Um, Brooke at V... V2. V2 in Australia is rebuilding the motor. We're supposed to get that motor back in two weeks. That bike will be done hopefully this year. Oh, this, this one's, yeah, this one's also on the auction site right now, BMW R90S. Uh, this is the Daytona orange paint job, and it's actually been signed. Unfortunately, it's faded before they put a cover over it, but it's been signed, and you can barely see there, Reg Pridmore. Reg uh, w took one of these, an R90S, and won the first year of the AMA Superbike Championship with an R90S. So cool, cool piece of history and a very, very gorgeous classic BMW there. The Muzzy Raptor just sold a few days ago, so we're waiting to uh, get shipping information on that. That uh, Bayless over there on the left sold the 851. I can't recall. <laughs> Uh, these two are sending, going over to my buddy uh, Chris Boy in Florida. He's using Iconic Transport, Motor Corsa Performance. Thank you so much, Chris. This is neat. Speaking of really awesome bikes. Yeah, Aston Martin AMB 001. You've done some great social media on this. Some of our most popular videos, actually, yeah, we had one point, in recent memory. Uh, gosh, what was it? 1.2 million views yeah, and just in the first just three days yeah. of it running. So that was awesome. But yeah, rough superior bike. So we put this together and uh, you know, did, well, did a service work on it. And uh, the owner is going to be enjoying it very soon. Behind you over there on your left, that's this, the uh, TL project with a dry clutch. Eventually, we'll get to that. So <laughs> I, I don't want to look at it too much because I just keep pushing it aside for customer bikes first. <laughs> Abby and I obviously are in these offices here. We're going to probably move upstairs before too long. So we'll talk about that later. Desmond Sedici go. also on the auction site. Yeah. This one's special for a ton of reasons, but carbon fiber 17-inch BST is on it. Carbon fiber 16 and a half inch BSTs if you want to hit the track. Because so we, we have tires for it. Yep. We actually have 16 and a half inch Pirellis in stock. And the stock wheels and a ton of other stuff that goes with it. And a bunch of other stuff that goes with it. So this is on the auction site. I, uh, I wish I could buy that one specifically, but <laughs> Christmas tree. There you go. All uh, right, this is where it gets, we're going to show you a couple things upstairs. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Riff that's not there. And then also Brutus. Brutus. There you go. This is our auction writing team and Gray that does the amazing photography for Iconic. So uh, these gentlemen will be moved downstairs. Abby and I will be up here before too long. But this is the other update we had for you. So uh, I mentioned to you before, but we're gonna do lighting and stuff. The lighting's done, the electrical's all finished. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to find the right pull lights for the both sides and a small little chandelier over there kind of thing. But all that works, the employee break room is already 
being used. Small table, the lighting's obviously in, the plugs are all finished, the netting uh, to make it a little safer up here so pull balls don't fall down and stuff is all in. <laughs> and we'll finish up my favorite space. <laughs> You know, people call us the barber of the West Coast. We are far from barber, but the cool thing about barber, or, or the cool thing about us over barber is that everything here always you can changing. pretty much buy oh, and everything's always changing, yeah. right? So, um, you know, some of these bikes are on storage. Like this bike is actually a customer's bike. Avi's track bike. He has everybody in all these, all these really cool signatures, all, his, all the people he looks up to, we look up to, signs it for us. We still have some NSFs on, on, um, on the auction site, on the classified section. Yeah. Really special Ducatis. I love this one. Like if you were to ask me <laughs> one of the one of my favorite customs you've ever seen. I've ridden with this owner. Uh, he's one of my better friends, actually, one of my best buddies. I love this bike. Like I absolutely do. Like I huh, there's no I don't know. If I had the money, this is the one I'd just make him some ridiculous offer for. Uh, that's fair. I mean it's it's such a really well done period custom. One of my favorite touches about it is gonna be these tank emblems. Uh, normally on the Lavera tank, they're much smaller. He 3D scanned them, printed them much larger, had to contour them uh, to fit the tank on both sides. And it's just, it's such a gorgeous, but Olin shocks, Skitsu tag, a bunch of great Come around here really this. quick, Riff, yeah. and look at this. One thing I love about it is when you're sitting on a bike, go, the yeah. reflection of his favorite number kind of comes off in the headlights. And I know it just sounds small, but I just, I just love this bike. I just, one day. I, I gotta tell you, it's a goal of mine to actually own that one. Uh, I, I kind of skipped over these special Ducatis. That is the Guggenheim Zero Mile Green Frame, fully documented Zero Mile, uh, one of the Ducati, one of the most special Ducatis. And speaking of the special Ducatis. Oh yeah, this one, this is bike. So uh, even in the corner, we, it's funny, we have every generation in a sense of the Paul Smarts, right? So that's the more modern Ducati Paul Smart, kind of in the background there. That was inspired by the green frame Adam was just talking about here. Uh, that was at the Art of the Motorcycle exhibit. This is one of the race bikes that started at all. This is one of seven bikes that Ducati took to the Imola 200, where Paul Smart won and really jump-started Ducati fame in their larger displacement bikes. Uh, Paul's teammate is a gentleman named Bruno Spargiari. Sp this is Spargiari's backup bike. So Ducati takes seven bikes to Imola. This is one of them. Then they take four of those bikes to Mo Sport in Canada, and they leave two bikes behind in Canada after that race, and this is one of those two bikes. This is such, if you're a Ducati nut, this is uh, kind of a holy grail bike really for you. Holy, so holy it's, cool that it's cool that it's here. All right, moving on really quick, more storage bikes. You've seen a lot of these on my prior videos before, TZRs, Triumphs, uh, another green frame. Uh, cool R7 with a R1 motor. Bunch of NSF still left, not a bunch, but a few. We had 30 initially, yeah. I think we're down to about 10 collectively, yeah. between the 100s and the 250s left. Another bike waiting, I think this is a title, waiting That's, for a title yeah, still. Same thing as downstairs, correct. Uh, one of my friends uh, from my wife on the Hollywood side, she owned, my wife owns a prop house, my wife and I own a prop house together, I should say. It's one of our client's bikes we keep here on storage. This is really neat. Yeah, BMW, uh, this is built, this actually just came today. It's gonna be here for storage as well. I'll tell you what, can we trade? I want you to show this side. This is kind of the highlight of it in many ways. Uh, but this classic Airhead uh, has been built as a tribute to the ISDT, ISDT bikes, the International Six Day Trials. And that's why it's got this incredible exhaust here. I was talking to the owner today and he mentioned there are just five of these uh, exhausts in the world. Uh, so he was able to somehow track that down, which is pretty incredible. But, uh, yeah, I mean, off-roading on a bike where the cylinders stick out that way is a whole, a whole different thing, but very cool classic BMW there for you. Beautiful BMW. I'm sorry, Bimota. I'm a big BM Bimota fan, so I love seeing these things all throughout. Um, this is a cool bike. Another uh, Ducati, the same owner as the other two, yeah. NCR bike. Another really special bike with a lot of provenance. And uh, finishing off on a couple more. But before we close it off, this is the bodywork for the NR750 I mentioned downstairs. So we're gonna get that bike back together pretty quick, get it on the auction site. We're gonna put the pool tables back where they belong. And this <laughs> right here, I, should, I skipped right over the black NR. I'm sorry about that. That was a cool oh, custom build that we did that's on the classified <laughs> right now. But beyond that, this is what I love. This is it for me. So that's one so day cool. I will have a very, cool collection of race bikes <laughs> on both coasts that we can everybody can come visit have a beer have yep. a coffee talk about that's a dream and this is a heck of a start yes it is that's the second bike that Abby was talking about earlier this is going to go to the Rhode Island house Bruce and I uh, get along really well Bruce transportation um, 
just a kind of a I don't know iconic team back in the day. Yeah. That Kevin Arian helped build the bikes for and, and ran ran the team. And he, uh, I mean, his business was in school buses, buying, selling, leasing, that kind of thing. So, Rip, if you can, if, just to make sure you can see, the livery, it's one of my favorite liveries in racing, is the school bus, the kids wearing the motorcycle helmets <laughs> in the school bus there. I love For that. the Bruce transportation So this bikes. is going to be over on the Rhode Island property, because that's where it belongs. That's where Bruce is at, over on the East Coast. Yeah. So, outside of that, thank you for checking us out for the tour. Avi, thank you for the help. Cheers, my friend. Oh, cheers Thanks for, for that. Watching. Riff, uh, thank you, and have a great weekend.